Hey guys, good morning. I have a power nugget for you this good Tuesday morning. Before I get too far into it, um, you all see it says sometimes you don't know you need it until you need it. Before we talk about that, I want to um, share that I pray that everyone is safe in the adverse weather conditions we've been having. I spoke with my mom just a few minutes ago and uh, their power is out in their area. Um, my daughter and I are fine. We have power. Um, I've kind of, I didn't do a walk around the yard because I'm just not going to go out there and do all of that in the wetness. Um, but I did kind of peep through some of the windows and um, doors uh, because I have uh, several trees in my yard. So I wanted to make sure, you know, no big limbs or anything like that had failed. We do have a few uh, limbs in the yard, but <clears throat> nothing major. I don't see any damage from this end. I'll go out uh, a little later. <clears throat> Normally, I would have gone in my garden already this morning, but with all of the the rain, one, I haven't definitely haven't had to water it. Um, two, I've been a little worried because I'm noticing as I'm growing the squash, if they are too close to the ground and it's really, really wet, uh, the squash will, um, they'll rot like really, really easily. So I did do some things to kind of stake it up prior to this. Hopefully that works, but I haven't gone out, but as far as our person, my daughter and I are okay and we still have power this morning. And I wanted to give you guys some of that power this morning for our power nugget. Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I see you joining. I just can't see who it is yet because, you know, Facebook's a little slow. So do me a favor. If this is your first time on a live broadcast with me, we are live. You can't physically see me, but it is a live audible. So I can see you as you comment as I'm speaking. Um, but if this is your first time on a live broadcast with me, say hello in the comments. Let me know what type of business you run. How do you serve in the marketplace? How do people get to experience your gifts? Number two, if this is not your first time, like you're not new at the rodeo, put hashtag renew in the comments. Hashtag renew in the comments. And we do that. Uh, the name of my business is Renew Full Circle Consulting. And we get our whole life over here, full circle. So if this isn't your first time, put hashtag renew. And thirdly, I ask that uh, if you find value in this or any other trainings that I've shared with you before and you think someone else would find value, please press the share button. It's on the left-hand side. Something magical happens when you press it. People are able to um, experience our power nuggets that we do. Uh, so you see in the title, it says, sometimes you don't know you need it until you need it. So recently, maybe about three or four days ago, um, in our current, let me say this first, in the current times that we are facing with the stay at home, the quarantine and the pandemic, literally, um, my daughter and I have only been doing, uh, grocery store runs, <laughs> like literally, um, and essential things that we needed for the home. Her birthday was about a week ago now. No, maybe a week and a half ago now. And right before her birthday, she started um, wanting to sew. Now, I had purchased her a sewing machine when she was maybe about six or seven, one of the beginner's uh, sewing machines just something for her to enjoy hey there good morning and so when she comes up with the idea look we're all you know we're on this kind of quarantine stay at home time many of you have probably picked up a, a craft or something like me like with gardening that you really love and for her her next thing was sewing so as we began to uh, or she began the process she had something she wanted to work on I realized that her sewing machine wasn't working. So I bought her like a beginner's sewing machine when she was really young. And then I had one. And I said, okay, well, you can use, you know, my sewing machine. How about neither one of the things works? So long story short, I, you know, ordered her another sewing machine. And I thought I would brave uh, the road and take her to a material factory to get some fabric. 
I figured with um, there's not going to be like this slew of people inside a material factory. And it wasn't, um, thank God, but we did our mask and, you know, they made you do hand sanitizer as you came in, all the things, right? So we rolled out to um, get her some material. Um, we didn't do anything like a mall just simply because of the amount of people um, in the mall for, for us. Now, this was a first for us with all of this that is transpiring, I think, uh, what, since March. Not only have we been kind of isolating or, or doing the stay-at-home quarantining really, really well to the point where, <laughs> you know, I think maybe some family members may be a little uncomfortable with the, the measures, you know, that we've been taking, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I also had not been eating out. So there were maybe three occasions, good morning, Jacqueline, where I allowed my daughter to get something from the drive-thru. And we started with like some French fries where, you know, because the whole process for us is it doesn't make sense to quarantine if you're not going to be safe. <laughs> so as they are handing us the fries, we have a uh, sanitized Lysol wipe in our hand and you know, all the things. So to me, it's just, it's so extreme for one. Uh, but because we were a distance away, I knew that would require us to stop to a drive through to get something to eat. So I'd already prepared my mind and everything for it. Uh, we go through the drive through It was just Bojangles. Uh, we go through the drive through uh, Mind you, we're in the drive through for like 30 minutes, okay? Um, and then we get our items and I pull off. Now, mind you, they asked me a couple times, did they have my item correct and all the things? And I said, yes. Now, because we go through this process as they're handing us our items, my card, all of that, we have hand sanitizer, all the things before it touches like my wallet, before the food bag touches, you know, the material in our car, things of that nature. So we're going through this whole process. I'm not thinking to actually go through the box and actually check to see if the order is correct. So we pull off, we get a little further up, and because I wanted to you know, be even more careful, uh, I pull over. Good morning, Ophelia, how are you, dear? And my daughter is telling me already, she was like, well, mom, you asked for a large fry for me and it's not in here, you paid for it. And I was like, babe, I, I just cannot go back through that line, <laughs> you know, because it, it took us 30 minutes initially anyway. And so then we begin to look through the box, and I asked for unseasoned fries. I asked for a, a kid's um, chicken leg or, or whatever, um, just something to hold me over until we got back to the house because we've been cooking everything that we've eaten, literally. And the entire order was wrong. So I was like, okay, I'm not going back through the drive-thru. I'm going to park and walk over to the drive-thru window and just let her know my order is wrong. Maybe they can fix it, bring it to the car, whatever. So they asked me to come in. Now, I'm already like really, really mindful about, um, you know, just where we're going uh, during this time and going in and all of the things. But I go in, I'm masked, I have my mask on and everything. Literally, guys, I'm in there for the, the young lady who waited on me leaves. So I realize, or I assume, that one of the reasons it was probably incorrect, because she was ready to get off. I mean, you could tell, I just think the times are, you know, stressful for, for most people working under the new normals that we're seeing or the new conditions that we're seeing for the time that we're in. So she leaves. Someone asked me, you know, did I need some help? I'm telling them my order is wrong. Literally, guys, I'm there for another 30 minutes. I end up going back to the car, asking them, could they bring it out? I set another maybe 15 minutes, and then I go back in again. Now, mind you, you guys see, now I'm going somewhere. When I say you never know you need it until you need it sometimes, I was so frustrated. Like, my nerves were um, really, really, really on edge. I was... Being understanding in my mind, but I don't think my presence or my delivery was saying that because I was frustrated with the entire process. And I kept saying to myself, you know, I don't know if you're really um, showing 
the level of patience that you should be showing during these circumstances. Now, all of this time, I've been talking about how, you know, I'm sensing a lot of peace and, you know, things have just really been amazing for me. I especially am grateful or in a measure of gratitude for the amount of peace that I'm walking in in this season because I came from a dysfunctional situation for years, you know, prior to this. So I really, really value my peace. But wouldn't you know when the circumstance was a little uncomfortable, I didn't fully rest in that same measure of peace. And I say this to say that sometimes we say we have faith. Uh, sometimes we say we have peace. Sometimes we say we have an amazing attitude. Um, our heart is in the right position, but we don't really know that until we're tested. I remember asking God when I got back in the car, I said, wow, this is an area that I need to work on, you know, even more. I need to pray about, I need to be even more mindful of, because when you're home, you're not around anybody, you're not faced with any, um, frustrating circumstances. Yes, it's easy to say that you're operating in peace or your heart is in alignment and all the things. It's easy to say that when you are not tested. It's no different from faith. You know, people will say that their faith is so strong, but when times like we're facing today comes um, and things are changing by the moment and there's so much uncertainty, where is the faith at then, right? And so it's easy to have faith. It's easy to give people grace in your mind until you're actually faced with the situation. And sometimes this goes in with the title for this morning. Sometimes we don't know what we need until we actually need it. And that's why if you, now the title said, sometimes we don't know what we need until we actually need it. But on the graphic, I had the power of preparation. And this is why I am constantly working on myself because there will be times where, you know, you're faced with an uncomfortable situation or things not necessarily going the way they normally go. And it's how you act in uncomfortable times. It's how you act in times of adversity that really makes the difference. And your preparation that you have done prior to that will definitely tell the story. For me, my faith, I work on my faith all the time. So even in the times we face now, my faith has been through the roof. I've um, you know, been extremely prosperous in this season. My clients have. I've been able to maintain that, but I didn't know that I needed to kind of still work on you know, my patience or my tolerance level because I haven't been around anybody. So it's easy for us to say that we got this thing together or we do really well at this particular thing when we're not faced with it being uncomfortable or actually tested. And when it comes to preparation, there's so much power in this. And this is where I see many entrepreneurs um, drop the ball right? They don't see where they will need it. So some of the steps, some of the foundational things that are really, really needed to sustain their business, they don't do those things, right? Because in that moment, they don't feel they need it. They don't feel they need a system. They don't need it, feel it, it takes all of that. But even when we look at the times that we face now and all of the, the PUA, the PPE, or the PPP, the EIDL, all of the different fundings and uh, funds, grants, loans, and things that were available, many people didn't qualify for small, systematic, foundational things that they may not need on an everyday basis, right? They may not need to get the coin or to... Um, you know, get the bag. They may not need it in that particular process, but foundational things are foundational things and preparing for those things are um, super important because there will be times where you'll need some of the things that you just don't need on an everyday basis. Some of those foundational things will open doors for you. 
Uh, it will look like favor when other people weren't able to get through. But a lot of times it's because you had the foundation in order. It's because you did the preparing prior to when it was needed, right? So sometimes you don't think that you need it until you actually need it. And one of the most powerful things that we can do as we grow our businesses and our life is to prepare. Um, preparing our, our life, a lot of that is working on ourselves, doing our personal work, our self-development, our personal growth, our working on our emotional intelligence, working on our emotions, period, right? Um, scripture says that we are renewed, uh, our lives are transformed by the renewing of our mind, and our mind is a part of our soul. And so I just want to share with you guys that sometimes you don't think you need it until you need it, and the best position you could ever be in is one that's already prepared. There are many things that are going to be needed at your next level that you may not use on a daily basis, but they're important. They're the foundational building blocks, one, to your business, so that when things like the storm that's just occurred for us happens, that your business can still withstand. That's my power nugget for you all today. Um, I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach and mentor to women in business just like you. For those of you who want to connect outside of social media, you can always do that at RenewFullCircle.com. We get our whole life over here. We focus on abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building strategies. You guys have a super amazing day. Peace.